Hey everybody, Ross here. So a question I get asked a lot, and one that I love answering, is should I use a GUI, graphical user interface? Should I use a TUI, a text mode user interface? Or should I use the command line? It's a great question because really when you look at Linux distributions, you know, Red Hat, SUSE, Hat, etc., uh, you see a different set of options being available uh, on all of these levels because sometimes you need it and sometimes you don't. Let me explain. For example, let's say that you <clears throat> you add a user once a week or once a month or something like that, you're probably going to use the GUI mode tool. The reason why, it's just one user, uh, you don't do it very often, and it makes sense to just walk through the wizard, no big deal. Let's say though that you do the same task, but you do it across a network or you do it from a, a shell interface or you do it across a slow line, whatever, to a remote facility, you might use the same wizard, but you'll use that wizard in the text mode user interface. Third thing that might happen would be the use of the command line interface. And using the GUI and the TUI is roughly the same thing, it's just a slightly different presentation. But the GUI versus the command line is, I might do it on the command line because I want to add 30 users or 50 users or 5,000 users. Or to do the same task many, many, many times with slightly different variables that come from an input file. And that sort of a thing. So it's really important to understand that when you're using a GUI, you're using something that's designed to help you walk through a process that you don't do very often, or you're only going to do one of every once in a while. When you really need to automate a process, and you do it every day, you just want to hit up arrow, change a few characters, and hit enter, and have it execute and do the, the same thing or something very similar again, you're going to use the command line interface. That's why I explain to people why it's important to understand both the GUI and the command line interface. So whenever you're working with tools, like let's say you're adding a user on a SUSE box, you're going to be using the YAST GUI mode uh, if you're doing it one time. You might be using the YAST text mode if you want to be a little faster. Uh, maybe you have uh, some sort of a shell uh, connection or an SSH connection. Uh, but you're going to want to use the command line if it's important for you to be able to add that user uh, and then make changes and add another similar user very quickly and very easily. So remember, um, almost everything that you use has a GUI, a text mode, and a command line user interface. And it's very important to know all three of those in order to be a good systems administrator. Thanks. Enjoy.